Welcome back to Chiang Rai, Thailand. We are going to show you some absolutely beautiful temples today. And we have three in store. One of them I'm not totally sure about, but they are all equally unique and equally beautiful. Let's get to it. We've hopped up this morning and we got a grab all the way down to the White Temple, which is about 20 to 25 minutes outside of the city center of Chiang Rai. And it's well worth the drive. We can see it from the outside and it looks absolutely stunning. The artist of this temple is from the Chiang Rai region and supposedly he's invested a lot of his own money to make this just a labor of love. Like he truly wants this to be one of the most beautiful temples in the entire world. He also wants it to be a very unique temple compared to all of the others that you're gonna see. So you're gonna see a lot of contemporary art meets like the story of Buddha. What do you think, Hannah? This is so beautiful. The fish in there are so colorful. I just like, I'm so excited to walk through this. Inside, I think both of us were a little confused. There was like Pokemon on the wall, there was Angry Birds, a of, depiction of 9-11. Uh, yeah. Stuff that you wouldn't normally think that you'd see in a temple. But I think it's supposed to be like... Fighting against the forces Fighting. of evil, maybe? If you're familiar with what that depiction is, then please let us know in the comments section because we're surprised. <laughs> The way that the mirrors reflect when there's no sun hitting them, it looks almost like a drawing, like a paper. But then when you turn the corner and the sun just like hits it, it's like an explosion of just shiny beauty. What do you think, Hannah? I'm amazed. I am truly amazed. perfect and I didn't know if we were going to be able to show you kind of some of the examples that we saw inside but there is this little grotto over here and there's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles up here so this is kind of a, a little example of some of the stuff that you'll see inside. I gotta be honest, this place has a ton of hype around it. Everything that we read and everything that we saw said that this is the most beautiful temple in Chiang Rai. And I can't imagine anything beating it. It's just stunning. Although I feel like I'm gonna get a sunburn like around every corner with all the white and all the mirrors and all the sun. I feel like I'm frying, but it's worth visiting nonetheless. All right, now we're gonna get a smoothie because it is blazing hot outside and we kind of need something to refresh us. It's kind of a nice thing that we've seen at most of the temples is that there's a place to eat or a place to grab a drink. So when it's super duper hot outside like it is today, you're able to refresh yourself and just kind of cool down for a bit. As we're finishing our smoothies, we noticed that it's kind of filling up a little bit. We got here not too late after eight o'clock and eight o'clock is when it opens on the weekdays. Although I'm sure it doesn't fill out too much when it's like the heat of the day. So maybe if you come around lunchtime, you'll have it all to yourself. <laughs> and we're at Temple 2. I guess it's kind of a museum. Not, Not a really temple. a temple. Not really a temple. But we're <laughs> excited to see this nonetheless. It says that there are lots of very imposing doors. So if you've been following our channel for a while, you know that I love a great door. Also, it's 80 baht each. So only a couple bucks to get in. I'll put the actual conversion right here because I don't know off the top of my head, to be honest. So we started off with the White Temple, so it's only natural that we go to the Black Temple, or Bandam. I think that's Thai for Black Temple. But as Hannah mentioned, this isn't an actual, like, temple. Or at least not in the traditional sense. This is more of like a museum. So we're gonna walk through and show you some of the things that you can see here. I will say first impressions are a little bit darker than the white one. Obviously for color reasons, but also it feels a little bit more edgy. So first impressions are the interior reminds me of like Viking house. Although I've also never been inside of a Viking house, so how do I know? Just know what Hollywood's taught us. Keep waiting for the alligator to open its eyes. It feels like at any moment it's just gonna go. So I thought these QR codes on each of the paintings would be something to where you can go to the artist page or like it's links to their website or something, but it opens up Instagram and it's the filter for this painting. Figure it out. Look at that. I 
had way too much fun in there and I think I was like kind of getting over the darkness behind some of the paintings just because it was so fun and interactive but they were definitely a little dark now that I'm looking back at my pictures and like thinking about it I'm like huh it was interesting <laughs> From what we can tell, there seems to be like a series of 40 different structures. Some are open to the public, some are not, um, for various reasons. Supposedly, some of the royal family has used some of these houses to meditate, so they've closed them off to the public. I want to go see the wheel sculpture, but there is a fellow over there that I don't know if he's tied up. Hi, guys. You look nice. You sure that's a male? A whale? A whale sculpture. That's Looks what like I a think. helmet to me. Can confirm that they have uh, traversed over this ground because there is a big old tarp. Three for good measure. And good fortune, right? And good fortune. Ready for temple number three? Ready for temple number three. You want to give the people a hint as to what it is? What's the most prominent color in my outfit? Blue! You are matching. Real quick before we go inside, feel free to like and subscribe if you're feeling generous. If you like the video, then it helps YouTube know that people enjoy the content and you enjoy our content and therefore lets other people see beautiful places like this and add them to their bucket list because this is absolutely a bucket list item. We've traveled a little bit back into the city center kind of of Chiang Rai and we are at a place called the Blue Temple. This is a temple that was built not too long ago, it's not very old, and it was built by one of the students of the builder of the White Temple, according to the internet, which never lets us down. Funny enough, this does kind of give me the same sort of like eccentric vibes that we got at the first White Temple, and the artist... I just said that a few minutes ago, so now they're getting it twice. <laughs> That was my fun fact. Trey stole my fun fact. <laughs> Since Trey stole my fun fact, I'm going to tell you another one. Supposedly before, there was another temple that stood here and there were tigers that roamed around. So this is nicknamed the Dancing Tiger. I don't know a ton about it, but supposedly that's what the nickname is. It's an explosion of color in there. It's absolutely gorgeous. Like I'm happy I we can't, got the film. I know, me too. I'm glad we got to share it with you, you all because that was truly beautiful. We've seen some absolutely beautiful temples today, but these are not the only temples that you can visit here in Chiang Rai. If we've left any out that you think everyone should visit, please get down in the comments and let everybody know so that if they watch this video, they can also read the comments and see what other ones are around here. In any case, we're gonna wrap this thing up here and we'll see you in a few days when we're doing something else. <laughs> doing something else.